Do not waste time trying to aim for perfection, waiting for the perfect opportunity, the perfect moment to start. Just start. Use what you have right now to get to where you want to go. And hence, I always say to anybody who's part of our organization, you've got to choose before we even bring you closer to our team. Is it progress you want or is it perfection? And I chose progress a long time ago. And that's why a lot of people might say to me, but Sandy, you could have done that better. You could have done this better. What they don't understand is I'm not trying to be perfect. All I'm trying to do is progress. I want to move every day from this level to the next. And I need you guys to understand that you do not have to be great to start, but you got to start to be great. The world is full of a lot of young people who are doing absolutely nothing with their lives you know um, in fact the world is full of young people who are just fooling around they are waiting for the future and the reason why they are waiting for the future is almost every young person gets told one and the same thing you're gonna you you are the future leader of the country you're the future leader of the world um, and I think personally it's time that we start changing the narrative because leadership doesn't start in parliament. Leadership starts at home. Leadership starts in school. Um, because if we're constantly saying they're future leaders, it means between now and the future, what do they do? They fool around. And I think every young person needs to understand this. Right now they're going to tell you you're too young to start a business. You're too young to do this. You're too young to do that. Next thing you wake up, you're too old. So ask yourself, when is the right time? The time is now. Rich people invest what they have and they spend what is left. On the other hand, poor people spend what they have and they invest what is left. If you want to be successful in life, you got to think long term, you got to think big, you got to think far beyond the latest watch, the latest car, designer clothes, think long term. Invest first, then spend. I'll give you a practical example. Somebody who invested a hundred thousand US dollars in Amazon stocks back in 97 today They should be sitting on well over 8.2 million US dollars on the other hand They might, I'm sure there's somebody who decided to buy the latest BMW with a hundred thousand US dollars Ask yourself how much is that worth today? Almost nothing. Think long term invest first then spend a real leader creates other leaders if you're a leader and you only have followers, you're not a leader, you're just a celebrity. Um, and, and understand this, get this straight from the word go. A leader invests in people before they invest in buildings. Reason being is success without a successor is failure. Um, and I've learned this from a very young age that a legacy is not what you leave physically for people, it's what you leave in people and that is why I take a lot of my time empowering as many people as possible so go out there and understand leadership starts with you